Hey everybody, so this is how you, what you need for your yellow rice. You're gonna need an onion, whatever kind of onion you want, green pepper, garlic, butter, sazon. You can use chicken broth or you can just use some water and bouillon and some rice. I'm using parboiled rice and you're gonna need some olive oil. So, let's go. Now, with this, you can use either for the yellow rice, you can use either this or saffron or um, a natto powder. I use this because I have it, it's easy to find. Sometimes um, saffron isn't easy to find because it's kind of expensive. So a lot of stores may have one or two packs in the store and once they're gone, they don't already, always replenish them right away. So. If you can find this, use this. This is what I would suggest. So, let's get started. Okay, so whatever amount of rice you're gonna make, whatever liquid you're using, put it in a separate pot and add your bouillon and your Sazon Tropical. Now, if you're using bulk broth, you don't need to use the bouillon, obviously. It's going to be too salty. Um, so, I add my water in there. You're going to use whatever um, instructions, like water to rice ratio, your rice says, you're going to go with that, okay? I'm just going to show you what to add to make your rice because everybody's not going to use the same rice rice is not rice trust me it's not so there's that so um let's move on all right so what you're going to do is you're going to heat your pot up add your oil you add a couple of tablespoons of oil i'm only cooking about two cups of rice You wash your rice you can wash it make sure you dry it before you add it to your oil okay so when this comes up I'm gonna add my rice make sure you let this come up to a boil okay I didn't say that before and I was assuming that people would know that but make sure you let this boil okay I'll just keep it at that okay all right so you're gonna <clears throat> toast your rice you're not trying to brown it. You just want to, you want to make sure you coat it in this oil, and you can use whatever oil you want. I'm just using olive oil. And you can use vegetable broth if you want. You don't have to use um, chicken broth. So I'm going to let that go. You're going to let that toast for a few minutes, for about five minutes. And you'll make sure you stir in it. Okay, so there we go. So. Now I'm going to add in my onion. You add as much or as little onion and bell pepper as you want. You're basically adding it for flavor. You're not adding it so you can be having a stir fry. Okay. Okay. All right, so. And you don't add your rice until your, your rice, your water until it has come up to a boil, okay? Alright, so now I'm just gonna take my garlic and I'm going to mince it into my rice. Okay. 
So it goes here and you just dump it in there. So it's giving a light toast on it, and that's what you want. You don't want it like golden brown. It's gonna get a little brown on it, but you don't want it to go too far. So, okay, so I've added in my, well, I'm gonna add in my water. This is the color you want it to be. Okay. So, two, now when I make my rice, if it calls for four cups, I'd go about a quarter of a cup under, just because. All right, so. Now, this is going to come up and it's going to cook for about 20 minutes. You're going to cover it and just let it cook. We're not playing peekaboo. So, just cover it and let it go. Okay, so the rice is done. You want to just, you don't want it dry as a bone, but I don't like it where it's so wet that it's like there's a puddle of water or stock in it, you know. It's done. It's well seasoned. You're going to drop in your butter. Turn it off. If you want it drier, you can dry it out. If you want. I just don't like mine totally dry, but I don't like it where it's, you know, mushy either. So, there it is. And you can use red bell pepper, green bell pepper, whatever. I just got green, so that's all I use. So, that is it. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.